Hello there. We are going to be talking about how to add the finishing touches to your gargoyle. So we're going to be starting off with a layer of black acrylic paint today. Um, but before we get to that, I just wanted to show you approximately what the finished product looks like. So this is one that I've used for demonstrations over the years. So it's got lots of different metallic colors on it. But this started exactly the same way with a layer of black acrylic paint. I've got another one sitting over here. This one you can see I purposely left it, oops, sorry. I purposely left it without any paint in one section just so you could see the bare clay versus the acrylic paint finish. And this one also has been used for lots of demonstrations over the years, so it's got lots of different colors on it. You're gonna have the option of choosing your metallic paints once the base coat in black acrylic is finished, and that's gonna be in a separate video on how to do that. So here are the materials that you're gonna need. You're gonna be working on a piece of newspaper so that we can help keep our tables clean. You're going to get a yogurt lid that has some black acrylic paint on it. And then I would grab a variety of brush sizes, one that's a little bit bigger to help you with larger areas, and then some smaller brushes to help to get into those nooks and crannies. I'm also going to grab a Sharpie because the very first thing I want you to do once you get your gargoyle back is write your name on the bottom. Okay, we want to make sure we know whose gargoyle is whose. The other thing that is very helpful to do is also to write your period number and also the quarter that you had art. So period one, unless you're period two, of course. And this is quarter two right now. Okay, so that it looks like that. And then there's no confusion as to whose gargoyle is whose. All right, so all we're gonna do basically is grab one of our paint brushes. I'm gonna start out with the larger brush and dip it in some of our black acrylic paint. Be very careful with the paint because acrylic paint will stain your clothing and there's not an easy way to get it out. So make sure your sleeves are rolled up. Grab an apron if you feel like you might accidentally get something on your clothes. Um, if you have a sweatshirt or a jacket that you can remove easily, you may wanna do that because I don't want anybody's clothes getting ruined. And so you can see that I am just adding a layer of black paint to the entire surface of my gargoyle. You wanna make sure that you're paying attention to the undersides of things, because those are areas that can easily be forgotten. So the undersides of wings, the undersides of arms, the undersides of tails, so on and so forth. You wanna make sure you pick up your gargoyle and look at it from all angles as you're painting. I'm gonna ask that you do not paint the bottom of your gargoyle. However, you can paint things near the bottom so that when your gargoyle is sitting down on the table, we don't see any bare clay showing. Because ultimately in the end, when your gargoyle is sitting down, we only wanna see the painted surface. That means that you're gonna to wanna to get inside your gargoyle's mouth as best you can. I realize that can be kind of tricky. And that may be an area where you wanna grab a different sized brush okay, so that it can reach areas that a larger or a smaller brush may not be able to reach. All right. Now, if you have an area that's textured, or just a surface that's a little bumpy and uneven, you wanna make sure that you get a lot of paint on the tips of your bristles. And instead of using a brush stroke motion, what you wanna do, just kinda of push the paint down into those areas, okay, by dabbing it onto the surface, okay, and then reloading your brush with some paint when needed. All right. So I'm gonna go ahead and continue 
covering my gargoyle with a layer of black acrylic paint. When I'm done, of course, at the end of the period, I'm gonna make sure that I wash my brush out really, really well. Black acrylic paint will ruin the bristles. It will actually coat them in what looks like a layer of plastic and I'll have to throw the brush away. Please make sure you take your brush back to the sink, wash out all the paint, and then spread the bristles out so that you can make sure the water actually runs down through the bristles to the base of the brush so that we know that it's nice and clean. Now in the next video, I'm gonna be showing you how to put the metallic layer onto your gargoyle to make it look like it has a finish, almost looks like metal when we're all done. All right, bye.